The Indonesian archipelago is a collection of islands that holds untold treasures in its diversity of cultures, landscapes and cities. With more than 17,000 islands under its jurisdiction, Indonesia offers an adventure and attractions for everyone, from exploring ancient temples and hiking active volcanoes to diving in largely untouched waters. You can wander the busy streets of Jakarta or take a step back in time with a visit to the remote villages of Tana Toraja, indulge in the bliss of Bali or come face to face with the volatile Anak Krakatau. Whatever you choose, the experience is sure to be one filled with awe and appreciation for a country as steeped in history and natural beauty as this one. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Indonesia. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. Let's cut to the chase. At 10, Lake Toba. Another of Indonesia's natural wonders, Lake Toba is both a body of water and super volcano. The lake, which sits in a crater, was formed between 69,000 and 77,000 years ago and is believed to have been the result of a catastrophic eruption. The lake is 1,145 square kilometers and 450 meters deep. Volcanic activity is still regularly recorded here and has pushed some islands above the water's surface. Lake Toba is a study in beauty and the powerful forces at work on the planet. Here you can go swimming, water skiing, canoeing or fishing or stick to wandering the surrounding area on foot or bike. At 9, Kalimantan, Borneo. Few places suggest wild, untamed adventure like Borneo. One of the most ecologically diverse places on Earth, Borneo is home to orangutans, exotic birds, Sumatran rhinos, pygmy elephants and an array of other creatures. In Kalimantan, in Indonesian Borneo, you can travel down the Kapuas River, the longest in Indonesia, visit villages of the indigenous Dayak people and observe foreign influences from China, Malaysia and even Europe in the ports and cities along the way. You can also go trekking in the rainforest for a chance to see some of Borneo's famed wildlife in person. Bukit Baka Bukit Raya National Park is a conservation area in West Kalimantan that includes two of the highest mountains in Borneo and supports wildlife such as orangutans, clouded leopards, slow lorises, sun bears and many other species. And now at 8, Tana Toraja. A visit to Tana Toraja in South Sulawesi province will not only feel like you've stepped far back in time, but also offers a look at the richness and diversity of Indonesia's long-standing cultures. The architectural style of Tongkanan, boat-shaped houses and other buildings are immediate standouts, but the people are what make this piece of natural paradise so special. They are, by many accounts, the friendliest and most welcoming people you could hope to meet while travelling. The Toraja approach to death is one of reverence and celebration. Funerals are elaborate ceremonies involving plenty of food and traditional dance, and the dead are buried in graves built into surrounding caves. Some of the top things to do in the area include visiting villages and connecting with locals, or trekking in the notoriously lush and pristine countryside. At 7, Mount Bromo. Indonesia sits on the Ring of Fire, an area with some of the most active volcanoes in the world. Many of the country's volcanoes, such as Mount Merapi, are famous for their violent eruptions and their stunning but dangerous beauty. Mount Bromo is among the best known, thanks largely to its incredible views, particularly when seen standing over the caldera at sunrise. Bromo's peak was blown off in an eruption and you can still see white smoke spewing from the mountain. The volcano is part of Bromo Tenga Semeru National Park, which also includes Mount Semeru, the highest peak in Java. The park is home to the Tenga people, an isolated ethnic group who trace their ancestry back to the ancient Majapahit Empire. At 6, Sacred Monkey Forest, Ubud. Ubud is the cultural heart of Bali, and it's here you'll find the sacred monkey forest sanctuary, a serene space where you can feel the ancient majesty of the island. 
you'll see many long-tailed macaques, a species of monkey commonly seen throughout Southeast Asia. The sanctuary also contains three Balinese Hindu temples, which date back to 1350. As you wander through the forest, avoid displaying any food or holding items, such as umbrellas and water bottles that may draw the attention of the monkeys. They may try to steal whatever you're carrying. The forest is near Padang Tegal, a small village that has drawn artists of all varieties for many years, and the temple, artistry and stunning natural backdrop make a trip to the forest and village a must-do in Bali. Next up at 5, Komodo National Park. Who hasn't dreamed of seeing a dragon at least once in their life? The Komodos of Indonesia are no mythical creatures, however, they are fierce and deadly animals. Komodo National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, encompasses three main islands and a number of smaller ones, as well as the surrounding marine areas. The waters off these islands are some of the richest and most diverse in the world. The Komodo dragons are the stars of the show on any visit to the park, but visitors can also hike, snorkel, go canoeing or visit small villages on the islands. Another highlight is Pink Beach on Komodo Island. This stretch of pink sand is one of the top beaches in Indonesia. Visitors must arrive by boat to the islands and there is an entrance fee plus additional costs for transportation, guide services and other activities. And next up at 4, Gili Islands. The Gili Islands are a major draw in Lombok, which has risen in popularity among backpackers and tourists over the years. These picturesque islands offer beaches that rival those of Bali in their beauty, as well as opportunities for diving and even snorkeling at a turtle sanctuary. If you're looking for more turtle action, you can check out a turtle hatchery where hundreds of these creatures are born each year. Kayaking is also popular in the Gillis, and if you're seeking a place to reconnect with your mind and body, you will find several options for yoga classes. The Gili Islands provides a more relaxed, though still stimulating, alternative to popular Bali. At 3, Orangutans of Borneo. No trip to Indonesia would be complete without seeing some orangutans, and Borneo is a great place to visit these beautiful and endangered creatures. Though orangutans still live in the wild, several sanctuaries rescue and protect orangutans as land development infringes on their natural habitat. Tangyong Puting National Park in Kalimantan, the Indonesian-owned part of Borneo, is home to one of the largest orangutan populations in the world, as well as other primates, birds and reptiles. If you don't make it to Borneo, you can also see orangutans at the Bohorok Orangutan Center in Bukit Lawang, a tourism village in the Sumatran jungle. At 2, Borobudur. This ancient temple is one of the most famous and culturally significant landmarks in Indonesia. Borobudur was built in the 8th century and constructed in the shape of a traditional Buddhist mandala. It is one of the top UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is considered one of the greatest Buddhist sites in the world. The massive temple was forgotten for centuries when it is believed that much of the population moved to eastern Java due to volcanic eruptions. But it was rediscovered in the 1800s and today is one of the main draws in Java. Visit at sunrise for a torchlight climb up the temple and for the breathtaking experience of watching as a complex is bathed in sunlight. Borobudur lies near Yogyakarta, an old Javanese city known for its rich cultural and historical offerings. And finally, at one, it's the beaches of Bali. Arguably Indonesia's most popular vacation spot, Bali has a number of cultural landmarks and attractions that make a visit here worthwhile. But for many people, Bali is about the island's beautiful beaches. If a beach vacation is what you're looking for, you may want to head to one of Bali's luxury beach resorts and spend some time soaking up the sun. Anyone who travels to Bali is going to have warm sand and blue water on their mind and the island doesn't disappoint. Kuta is the best known beach and is great for those who like to combine sun, surfing and socializing. Because of its popularity, you'll find no shortage of restaurants and things to do here. If you're looking for something a little quieter and less crowded, Nusa Dua is still a beauty but draws fewer tourists. 
Sanur is the place to go for a little more culture as well as great water sports. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Indonesia. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.